Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris or SwagXBO here bringing you guys today another Beast Advanced Warfare gameplay. In the background for you guys today is going to be a 93 kill double DNA bomb in 6 minutes. Um, I joined this game pretty late in my opinion and so I just started going ham. I just absolutely went off um, I, and only in 6 minutes I got 93 kills and a double DNA. So hopefully you guys definitely enjoyed that gameplay in the background. Um, I'm running out of gameplays because I'm back at college, man. It's just nice to be, feels good to be back around a bunch of college kids and just hanging out, having fun. You know, going to dinner with your friends, it just feels good. You know, I, I if you guys didn't know, I went back home for uh, college because, you know, I had surgery and stuff like that on my shoulder, so I had to deal with that type of stuff. But in this video, what I want to do, I want to do a couple things. I want to give you guys a little update on my life and where I'm at in it, and I want to tell you tell you some things that are unique about me. So, anyways, in the comment section below, after I go through all the unique stuff, um, let me know in the comment section what you guys find yourself that's unique about you, what that you have been blessed with that like may separate yourself from uh, a lot of other people. Maybe not everyone, but just from a lot of other people. So, anyways, let's get started. Um, first off, um, I'm a triplet. If you guys do not know, I'm a triplet. I have a brother and a sister. We were both born on the same... Oh, I mean both. I mean all three of us were born on the same day. Yes, my mother in nine months carried around three kids. So, you know, it was really cool, really unique. Um, I definitely had a lot. Um, another thing that's unique about me is I'm left-handed. Um, I know that doesn't separate me from a lot of the world, but I'm left-handed. And, you know, I shoot left-handed, right left-handed. I'm not... I my right hand. I don't know how people can shoot right-handed or right right-handed. Um, it's kind of crazy. But anyways, um, also another you think unique thing about me is I'm, I have red hair. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm light-skinned. I, my, my, my dad's black, my mom's white, and I have red hair. Um, I got it from my dad's sister. My aunt, she had red hair. So um, people, a lot of people always recognize me and notice me by my red hair, like right on spot. Like they'll remember me because just of my red hair. And you know, it's something cool. I think it's, I'm really, you know, blessed to have something unique about me that a lot of people don't have. You know, I don't see too many light-skinned redheads. Um, I get compared to Blake Griffin a lot. Uh, I get called that most of the time um, because, you know, he's light-skinned, has red hair. But um, another unique thing about me is, um, you know, there's not, I, that's basically it. The one main things that, you know, really separate me from a lot of other people. You know, I'm just an average college kid, you know, that plays basketball in college, um, loves going to school. You know, 4.0 GPA, all that type of stuff. So, anyways, in the comment section below, let me know what you got, what's unique about you guys, something specific. Um, I'm kind of want to get to know you guys a little bit more as subscribers, and I think you guys would definitely enjoy this. So, um, let me give you a little update where I'm at in my life. So, I came back to college a couple weeks ago. Um, oh my gosh, I gotta tell you guys, they fixed my internet. I am just so happy. They absolutely was broken in my room, so I had to run off the, you know, the university internet, which is. <sighs> Bro, it's worse than McDonald's. 100% worse than McDonald's connection. And it was just terrible just to, you know, try to play Xbox. So it was basically unbearable. So I called the IT people and they came in and fixed it for me. So I'm really blessed and thankful for that. And I can play some Call of Duty, go for some gameplay for you guys. You know, I'm really excited about that, you know. And with my whole injury, I'm not be able to clear to play basketball probably for another, you know, month and a half. I still have to do physical therapy. If you guys didn't know, I tore my uh, labrum. If you don't know who Kobe Bryant is, you know, he had the same type of injury as me. So I had had surgery and I can't really do much and stuff like that. So I've been doing a lot of cardio and just ab workouts. You know, it just feels good to be back in life, man. I, I liked, I grinded YouTube a lot when I was on break. During Christmas break, I pumped out a video almost every day for you guys. And, you know, it feels good to be back with my friends, you know, just hanging out. Not playing Call of Duty as much. You know, I still play competitive all the time, but I don't ever pub stomp that much. That's why you're going to see a lot of, you know, insane triple, you know, DNA bombs that no one gives a shit about. So, um, I just like to put out content for you guys. My channel's been doing really well. Um, you guys are always here to support me. So, in my next video, I'll probably have a live time if I can actually do one. You know, my roommate has, oh, I got to tell you guys, my roommate has almost caught me like three times in the commentary. Every time I hear the card swipe um, and he comes in the door, I automatically like, put my blue snowball away. It's so funny, man. I'm like so embarrassed about it. And he actually caught me one time. Um, I went to use the bathroom. He looked under my covers to find one of his books or something like that. And he found the blue snowball. So, you know, it's actually pretty funny, you know, have, 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 trying to do commentaries, you know, when people actually walk in and stuff like that. So, you know, it just feels good to be back, you know, back chilling with all my friends. Um... People really stress about and just, you know, care too much about YouTube and Call of Duty to the point where, you know, it's kind of pathetic, man. I really just, I feel, if you're doing, if your channel's doing great and it's a passion for it, awesome. But don't take it to an extent where you feel like it's, I don't know, man. It's just, it's not that big of a deal in my opinion, especially if you're like my size channel or lower. You know, it's not that big of a deal if, if you're not 200k subscribers. You know, don't stress out about Call of Duty too much. Just focus on life and have fun with it. Um, hope you guys definitely enjoyed this topic, and you know, let me know in the comment section what's unique about you guys. What's safe to separate yourself? And I hope you guys definitely enjoyed the gameplay in the background. I'll talk to you guys later. Stay humble, stay blessed. So I can be on towards the end of the gameplay. I'm gonna um, show you guys. They started talking about how I got the DNAs and stuff like that. So um, really funny, you know, people in game chat whenever they do this and cracks me up. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out, suckers. Ooh.
I'm just having all smoke everywhere. I don't know how to get it. Probably not good enough to get it. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Game though, guys. He's, he's got 92 kills and 3 deaths. He's got a cap, though. God. If he's got a